gentlemen, hello and welcome along once again to another instalment of our tyre testing series supported by Continental. If you've not seen our big main intro video to our tyre testing series then please do go check that one out because it explains everything that we are up to in this series and also what we have for review which in this case is a set of VF tyres, Continental's latest VF tyre technology. So it's all about finding out about what uh, what these latest VF tractor tyres are capable of, along with some very clever tyre sensing technology uh, which we have fitted to the inside of these tyres, which uh, there's a sensor in each tyre which relays information back to this Continental screen which I've got here in the cab and that tells me exactly what the tyre pressures are to within half a uh, half a pound half a psi and more well interestingly it also tells me tyre temperature as well so in this series to try out these tyres we're going to be doing a bit of all sorts really so we're going to do a few different jobs a few different applications with this tractor and these tyres so we're going to do some grassland work we're going to do some arable work and we are going to do a little bit of haulage work which is kind of what we are doing today so today we are doing i suppose you could say it's part transport work part grassland work because we are out with the forage wagon a fent tigo vr65 forage wagon and we are out picking up some grass as ever, massive thank you to Clark and Pullman, our local machinery dealer, for sorting us out with this Fent 828 tractor, uh, which has central tyre inflation fitted to it, uh, or as Fent calls it, its varial grip system, which is going to be massively important throughout this tyre testing series, as it allows me to raise and lower the pressures as I see fit or as the conditions or the job dictate. Also, another big thank you to Clark & Pullman's sister company, which is Garstang Tire Services, for taking the time out and fitting these tires to this tractor. So, massive thank you to those guys. So, on with this video then. Like I say, we are trying out these tires. This time, we are off doing a bit of forage wagon work, picking up some grass. So, with that comes uh, quite a bit of field work, obviously, because we've got to get to the field and pick up the uh, pick up the grass. But of course, we've got to get to and from the field to back to the farm to the silage slam. So there's a bit of transport work. Now the transport work in question today, it's all farm tracks, which, when you add it all up together, makes it quite an interesting sort of challenge when it comes to setting up tyres. Uh, particularly the tyre pressures. So let's kind of, as we do with all these all these videos in this series and all the jobs that we've been doing, uh, let's list the priorities today. What do I need from these tires? Well, it's a little bit of a mix because we've got a mix of transport, we've got a mix of field work as well. So what we're really looking for is, we want a tire that is stable, that is safe, uh, when we are on these farm tracks, driving round and about, but we also want to be safe and stable in the field. You know, we've got a big load behind us, a big old forage wagon behind us, and we don't want to be rocking and rolling all over the shop. So we want a nice bit of stability, which means we need a little bit of pressure in there, obviously, to achieve that. But we don't want too much, because we want to look after the ground, the soil, and on this particular occasion, unlike when we were hauling that maze, where it didn't really matter what we did to the surface, relatively speaking of course uh, it didn't really matter what we did to the surface because it was going to get ploughed over again whereas on this occasion we really have to look after the surface and the grass sward and you know the, the the stubble that's left there so we don't want to be spinning around and scratching around or anything like that we need a nice bit of uh you know just about the right amount of tire pressure to get a you know a pretty decent footprint have the traction and have that uh, load carrying capability as well. So, in terms of the uh, initial tyre pressures that I have gone for, I have once again consulted my trusty Continental tyre app on my phone. So basically what we've got, we've got a front axle load of about two and a half tonnes, and when this forage wagon is full, we've got 
a rear axle load of about 10 tons so based on that we put all those figures into the continental tire tech app we put in our top speed that we are going to be doing we're not going to be going that fast across these fields and down these farm tracks so but i've been conservative and just in case because you never know so i've put 50k in there and then it gives me a tire pressure suggesting which in this case is one bar uh, in the rears and then plus 0.4 bar for transport work or the transport element or as the road part as it calls so that's what we've gone with we're going to kick off with that tire pressure suggestion which seems pretty much on the money got to be said already uh, so we're going to go with that 1.4 bar we're going to go with the upper limit which is approximately about 20 psi in the tires we'll see how we go and we'll have a little play around with the tire pressures probably drop some out of them in a little bit but we'll start off conservative 1.4 bar we'll see what the stability is like and we'll see what the uh, what those tires are doing to the sward as well or the uh, the grass surface so that's where we're at now uh, I shall crack on see what we can do and I'll catch you back here in a little bit nice one Ladies and gents, welcome back on to the next bit of this tyre testing video with the uh, with the forage wagon. So we've done a, a couple hours so far with the uh, the 1.4 bore setting, which seems to be working out quite well actually. Plenty of stability, which suggests to me we could probably afford to drop a little bit out, sacrifice just a little bit of that stability in favour of looking after the soil and the grass sward but conversely if you are doing a lot more road work then really you want to be steering your settings towards a harder tyre less rolling resistance save on that fuel greater stability on the road as well but anyway we've been trying it out at 1.4 bar on a side note it's very comfy as well you know because you know the tyres are the last lap well the first line in defence when it comes to comfort they are absorbing a lot of the shock and with only about 20 psi in the tyres, 1.4 bar, they are doing a good job in that respect. Right, let's talk tyre temp because that's always interesting when you do these sort of transport style jobs. So, when I kicked off this morning, there were only about 10 degrees. It was a chilly morning here in Lancashire. And we've now done a couple of hours work. And what are we up to? Now, let's have a look. Let's have a look. 